Okay, let's see. So before watching it, I think uh, I did fairly well about jabbing out the Zot or the Eddie send. Like between there's Uh, I think I honestly did a bad job of trying to get out of the corner. I think I also might be... I don't know what range to hold. Either with Eddie out or the bar down. Holy shit. Actually, anti-air, please. <laughs> there we go. Oh, and I, I haven't labbed uh, round starts against this character yet. I guess, let's see, immediate note. Um... Jabbing out with 2p is good, but I should 2p, 6p, confirm into disc instead of just 2p disc. <laughs> Less risky that way. This disc is full counter hit recovery and all that. Yeah, no cross up chance there because corner. Uh, take a shot every time I miss a super and you'll die. <laughs> yeah, I uh, it took me a bit, but I did eventually catch on to uh, that throw following PRC most of the time. A lot of anti-air spots here, but uh, I th actually want to... So Okay, so this happens. I get tagged trying to do something. Actually, wait, how did... This is the... Yeah, PRC and I did not jump. Okay. But after that... I just, like, didn't think I could get meatied from here. So... And... Just meaty with 5H... Okay. That did just catch me trying to move. I go airborne here. So I think I'm moving forward because I don't want to be in the corner. But I burn my second jump, I think because I saw Eddie come out and just immediately try and air dash Capel. But yeah, this is just so big and active. I need to be doing way better about moving around it while airborne. So otherwise, yeah, this happens. I've just put into a, you have now landed after blocking something. Zato's plus 10 million 50-50. What I do here? I, okay, so I see Eddie Pierce one. I think I tried to punish it. What the fuck am I doing? Hang on, I'm watching my inputs. I'm holding down back. Eddie Pierce won. So, I assumed I was going to try and 2p this. I just let go of block and then press forward? What? What the fuck am I doing? Uh... Alright, VLC, please. There we go. Alright, I'm gonna say that this is just a one-off weird thing. Maybe I didn't realize that Eddie was there and I was 
Well, no, because then I would have pressed the dash button. Yeah, that was a situation where, like, I had a hundred meter, but I didn't really have a good way to use it because I never put myself into a situation where... Well, okay, I guess the place to use it would have been after I did the air dash capel um, instead of that or at any point in there doing, like, air dash BRC to just, like, launch myself or something. But... That are just straight YRCing, but that's risky against that. Ooh, dropped confirm. And a pretty bad one. <laughs> yeah, I tried to jab Eddie. Eddie was behind me. You can't jab an Eddie who's behind you. Oh, I need to just confirm this into the normal one. I've done too much. Uh, I was practicing one day and got close slash, like, counter hit, air close slash, and tried to see how many close slashes I could get. The answer is four, but <laughs> uh, unfortunately now that means my muscle memory or uh, non-counter hit also has me do that sometimes. How minus is he here? Oh, okay. I am, I am just barely late. So I should do f mm. 5k here probably doesn't, well, okay, is more likely to punish, but is also more likely to get 6 speed. Maybe just pulling up and taking space when Eddie's dead would be better. That was supposed to be close slash 100%. Yeah, what are the... Okay. Yeah, I need to clean up my confirms too, because this... um. So A, good on me for finally fucking anti-airing. But B, this should have been uh, H-disc. But I recognize that I hit S, so just took the wall splat instead. Even even after using 50 meter against Zato, it might have been better to just not do the last jump dust and keep corner. Hmm. <laughs> uh. Yeah, there I'm trying to move out of the command grab again. Oh yeah, I got real lucky here. I could have sworn I saw her blocking at the start of that. Um, but hey, you get one every once in a blue moon. I think I should... What did I press here? Was I just misspaced, I'm guessing? Oh no, just straight up too late. Okay. I think that would probably have also crushed 6p. Because the... Like, hang momentum. This is the sort of situation I'm talking about, though. I, like... <laughs> I way overcommit and then get put in the corner against Zato with full bar. Um, I see th this. And I am expecting a run-up command grab here. But I still do Mirage... Which works, but I don't think that this is a great option, because it loses to both command grab and to, like, any non-delayed hit. I think that just holding it is better here. Even just getting, like, grounded normal hit tagged um, is, like, a bunch of damage into wall break. I need to watch when I'm trying to do the, like... Why am I mashing here? What the fuck? After PRC and everything... Oh, okay, I'm trying to mash out the grab. Yeah, I got gold bursted a couple times. Hey. Oh, hey, what's up? Hey, I was thinking... Whenever mm -hmm. you're done with the current VOD review, maybe we could do a thing where we do a match and do a VOD, uh, combined VOD review. Sure, yeah, sounds good to me. All right. Should I get in the other channel? Uh, yeah, I'll let you know when I'm done with this one, um, and then I'll, yeah, do some sets with you. Uh, All right. Sounds good. All right. Let's see. 
Yeah, burst here. Yeah, just kind of. <laughs> I can't believe I pressed kick here instead of throw. But oh well. Did not so situational recognition. Yeah, situational recognition error there more than anything else. I'm doing a lot of running under when he's in the air, which I'll need to test and see how good that is. I didn't need to burst here. Okay. Don't need to burst if Eddie is dead. Okay, that is important to recognize. I'm always like just a couple of frames late on a bunch of these. I think it's because yeah, I'm I'm not giving myself time to actually get into position for the jump S to hit, and then I'm just straight up not reacting in time here. <laughs> yeah, PRC expect the throw at the moment. That was a good adaptation, because I'd been jabbing out uh, Eddie quite a bit to go for the 5H there. I tried to push this. I know that this combo doesn't reliably go into the close slash mix-up there. Tragic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. I was trying to do, like, land throw, but I misjudged where the Zato, like, hurtbox was compared to me. Is this just Amelia around? Okay, this is actually a situation... Um, I got this, but it's very, very specific if you can jump or air dash off of it. And so I'll try and input it most of the time. Um, but I wasn't actually expecting it to come out here, which is why I did jump air dash instead of just like air dash cancel covered by the disc. I need to clean that up for sure. But I got the meter. The reset did its job. <laughs> Gold burst incident. My dumbass is like, ah oh, yes, I am slowed down. Time to mash my fastest button. <laughs> it worked. Somehow. You'll see. Thank you. Ooh, yeah, landed into a sandwich. Probably not. I do this a bunch, but I think I'm using it wrong. Um, in some other matchups, I've tried to use this as, okay, throw the disc out so that if they jump air dash, they just will land into it. Um, because sometimes they'll like jump and start the air dash beforehand and then I can block. Uh, or preferably dodge it. Uh, in this matchup, this is used to throw an Eddie cannot go here sign on the ground. Uh... But that's not how I'm using it. That's why I keep getting uh, counter hit out of it into big damage. Or in that case situation, uh, small damage, but Eddie back. Auto will do literally anything not to block. They will not hold the block. I think air to airing them on wake up would have been a nice adaptation since it wasn't a concrete knockdown they were up backing. Yeah, that's fair enough. Um, my... So... In some of the casuals we were doing right before this actual game, um, I was, I was like trying to do that more, go like air to air. But the thing is, I have a. This happens a decent amount in certain matchups. I think I'm pretty good at telling when someone wants to cover the air, 
The problem is in this matchup, uh, and this is, I guess, with what you're talking about, limiting it to just soft Oki situations is probably good. Um, but I tried to stop going for like the rising jump S and stuff like that because I can be like, aha, they're going to cover the air. And they're like, yes, I am. Frog. <laughs> and then I uh, get hit and take a lot of damage. So that's why I stopped doing that. But yeah, uh, scoping it down to be, let's see, air to air ring on soft oaky situation. Okay, that is a good point for sure. Uh, I think I actually, I think that this is a routing failure. Um, I got this. The knockdown. And here, um, I autopiloted a forward walk, but I actually wanted to be on the right here to close slash them back to mid screen, where I can get a left right instead of a forced wall break with no meter. Oh god, Zato's in neutral. Okay, so the neutral here, I think I'm doing a good job of avoiding the anti-air, which is good. The problem is that I did this first. So this is the time when I'm theoretically trying to lock down Zato instead of just running around like a chicken with my head cut off. So what am I doing here? I, uh... <laughs> Literally every button I have that is not jump H hits here. Why did I jump H? Oh, and then I let myself get sandwiched. Yeah, yeah, I throw him in on startup. Do I recognize and block? Ah, okay. I sort of respected the 5H afterwards. Yeah, okay, here... Even without anything else, I should... Oh, okay, okay, never mind. I did have 100 meter. I was going to say I should just take the corner positioning and then take the single hit into super. But yeah, that not being an RRC actually uh, really messed me up. Right. Uh, I'm glad I got that because I sure haven't practiced that confirm in a long time. disc burst that's fine no more burst empty air movement uh, okay yeah that far slash okay i finally got it i was not ready for that actually what part of this hit i think that's where i'm getting confused because i saw the blue circle here Okay, the air dash was late, so the blue circle popped up from blocking the disc, and then next frame they got hit, so I was, uh, <laughs> this was supposed to be a second air dash jump H, actually. Which I think would have comboed anyways if I had gotten the input, but. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to do it as a counter approach. Okay, write that down. Don't try to... Okay. Yeah. I sure did try to mash against that. Is in that situation it is just better to uh it was two ago yeah because if i remember right yeah i didn't recognize in time that oppose was here so i had the read but in this situation it is always better to jump um because then even if you are wrong and get hit you uh, are not counter hit. 
And pressing a normal into this will do literally nothing. <laughs> Make a note on that real quick. Under the pose pressure, jump, don't mash. Okay. All right, I'm also, I keep forgetting, I want to like watch to see what ranges seem to be good. I'm trying to think of what I'm gonna with punish. I also just realized that Mist does not use 2S like at all went for the early close slash just to make sure I didn't fuck up the timing oh god right the OTG pickups I was actually really surprised that she didn't block the cross up there um Considering the reward for positioning, but ah, another S disc instead of a like the the resulting situation was probably f okay. confirm counter hit six P into H disc. Making a note for myself. Yep, okay, I finally caught on. Even if I... I was ready to avoid it, I wasn't ready to do anything about it afterwards for some reason. And this is definitely a, ah, oh, whatever, I'm about to hit negative penalty anyways. <laughs> Fuck it, PRC. Mm -hmm. And the throw attempt. Okay, yeah, that was just a strike throw 50-50. Straight up. 